Hey everybody, what's up? This is Tony Diana and this is Star Wars Inspired Props. This is an update video on some of the various projects I've been working on. I'm going to review about four of them that I'm working on. They're in various stages and also hopefully some ideas I have coming up. The first one is the Ixil Nathar Detonator. Um, this backstory on this basically is that this is a race called the Exilians and they were displaced from their home by the Empire when they did their mass expansion for acquiring new planets and new properties. Basically, they got stuck on this corrosive planet. And vowing revenge, their scientists found an explosive and they called it Nathar. Their intent was to eventually use it against the Empire in revenge. Uh, basically, the build is a Brita filter and there's a CD lens reader and some very, uh, various electronic parts on the outside. It's the top of a microphone. And I used some vinegar to uh, corrode the inside because, you know, corrosive planet and all. And I add a little LED just for a little bit of effect. The coolest part was the unintended part. For when I turned on the LED and I shut off the lights, I noticed all the scratches I had made on the side just kind of let the light shine through. And that worked well for the backstory. Since they were from a corrosive planet, it shows you how unstable the container is and how desperate the Ixils are. So how this works basically is that you hold the sides to prime it and then you turn this knob to set the timer and you can set the torque from the side one if you want and then when you're ready you just sort of set it down and run like hell. Alright, next up is this little fella He's like a USB droid. He's, he's meant to be plugged into a larger console in order to transfer information. Don't really have a name for him yet. He's basically built from an old webcam. I repainted some of the parts. And there's an old lens from a cell phone lens set on the front here. And an old earring on top to give him a little bit of personality and character. At the base is the top from a 1970s blender. And I put a little LED in his eye, just to give him some activity. But when you shut off the light, it kind of looks like his brain is active and he's actually doing something. I don't know, thought he was kind of cute. All right, now we're at the work in progress stage. This is an Imperial ID device. The basic idea is that you approach it, push this button, and this arm comes out. You place your chin on it, and it's supposed to read your retina. And there's a second camera in the corner and a key card slot if you want to bypass the whole process. There's some detailing on the sides, just to give a little more detail. And the bottom part is actually an old book light that I dremeled the bottom up to fit underneath the lens. And the lens is a very old lens that doesn't fit any cameras I own anymore, so I figured why not. And I still might want to add some more detail to it, pump it up a little, I'm not sure. All right, this last one is very work in progress. And this is just a simple blaster. Maybe it belongs to a bounty hunter. We're just a throw together from some scavengers. I have to work on the backstory. But I need to repaint this whole thing. I've got this old um, phone cord that I want to wrap around the barrel just to kind of make it look more Star Wars-like. And there's an LED in the tip for the laser effect. And of course, the sight is detachable. And the sight is just an old flashlight casing and an old telescopic lens. The stock is the base of a microphone. You'll remember the top that I used in the detonator came from this microphone. And the switch here is from the microphone as well. And the tip is also from the microphone. Waste nothing. I took a black magic marker and I took out the filter inside. And I used that to extend the barrel and wrapping some electrical tape around it. And this is a microphone holder to hold the sight. And the back here is actually from a desk lamp. And the part that you use to adjust the tilt, I'm just using that as sort of an intensity for the laser. Still some work to do on it, but I kind of like the shape of it. It's kind of fun. And that's everything so far. And like I've said, I'm not a fabricator by trade. This is just for fun, just to see what I can do with some stuff I have. I've enjoyed the, the build so far. But I, um, I still have a couple I want to do. I want to do a lightsaber eventually, obviously. And I've got about three other projects in bags ready to assemble. They're not even assembled yet. But, um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Have a great day.